we got it done. I'll be social media ring about that later. Make a bit announcement. So what should I do? Shall I shall I give it an, another shot? See if I can play this. Right, so this is part one, right? This is part one, so I'm gonna see if I can play at normal speed. So I'll tell the website to play the part two, the part that I just transcribed. So here we go. Usually um, when, when you play a new piece you never played before, you do a run through three, four, five times and then it's sort of part of it sticks in your memory and then part of it you're still reading. So let's see if I can ever do any good at this. Whoops. I think that came in a bit early, didn't it? So I like to refresh. Sometimes the tracker gets ahead of itself a little bit. It's a bit excited. Here we go. Wait, I did something wrong, didn't I? I forgot that I'm not on screen. Not that you need to see me on screen. There, you can see that. You can see everything now, can't you? Okay, um, let's start again. <clears throat> So with the triplets, yeah, we are going to redesign them. We're going to make it so that it's a circle, but three, two vertical lines divided. Initially, I thought the notes would look too small, but they actually don't look that small. Oh. I'm actually just noticing. Wakey train. Well, hey, oh, recorder guy. I haven't streamed for a while. I've a recorder guy. I've been um, sort of uh, um, doing some other stuff and uh, up uploading recorded pieces to the YouTube channel rather than streaming. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm redesigning that triplet. Uh, ori my original one was to do two vertical lines and squeeze them in. But initially I thought, oh, that'll be too small to see. But look at these. These are these are smaller and they're quite easy to see. But usually what happens with this, we've messed with rotating this uh, piece sign around a bit. But it, it makes it clear that the F is the first one. But then usually we have like here, we have left to right, just like writing a document, left to right, top down, that's the order. So it's a bit logical that you do it this way. But with the triplet, um, when I get to here, I sometimes get a bit confused because I'm, I'm having to read left to right and up and down. So yeah, it throws me a little bit, but I've noticed I did a mock-up of the triplet where it's just two vertical lines and three notes in a line, and I just breeze through them. But I don't have to think about it. There's this kind of thing, and it's really a theme of musitude, is when you do something by intuition, for example, if you see a sign with the word right, R-I-G-H-T on it, we're fast at reading and fast at thinking and, and contemplating the meaning of the word right, but we have to do a calculation. There's a little delay in there in our brain. But if you see an arrow just pointing right, there is no calculation. Some music. Is Spotify playing? Oh, yeah. There is no calculation when you see an arrow. 
it's kind of um, it's something that it, it, it's something that the the brain processes on a deeper level, more low level. Uh, but when you have to abstract it and do that, so what what I'm what I think is happening when I see this these triplets is. I'm just reading along and we're so used to reading letters and typing it's just automatic but here I've got to do a little calculation of oh, which one's next which one's next but I've noticed when I do the two straight lines and I just put them in a straight line flat I don't I don't need to do any thinking I just just read them automatically and let me just read Wakey Twin's message hello I'm called Abdel how are you sir then brother it came of this first heaven and then you my god, on my what? Ruckus? On the pillar? Glazies? Clothes? Bliss? Flushing? I don't know what that means. Wakey train. You're gonna have to... Oh, we've got another one from Tagged over here. Good effort. It says there's only one... Yeah, you have 24k followers on Facebook. Yeah, I think it, I think it does... Uh, Hi, I think um, I think the reason I was getting all those messages about followers, it stores them up, all the ones that I, all the ones that started following us when we were offline, and then it splurges them. I think I'm gonna have to uh, figure out a way to have it not do that because it cause it could get it could be a lot because we've got twenty five almost twenty five thousand Facebook followers, so we're gonna have to uh, take steps. That's a quote from the movie Abyss gonna have to take steps all right let's uh, have a look at something else that we can play so I've done one uh, one transcription tonight and uh, I think I'm getting better at that although I did notice a glitch glitch a Rooney there so so a look I usually go straight to the duets so look at this canon D. I haven't played that for a while it's a long one Biatch lasagna no, not that one. Uh, uh, uh. You know what? Some Swanage. How about some Swanage? I uh, I uploaded this one to the YouTube channel recently. It's all right. So we're, we're going to play a bit of Swanation. And if you look down here, you'll see two little subtle little dots. If I click on this dot, look what happens. It turns the page. But I don't need to click on the dot when I'm playing because you don't want to take your hand off the keyboard and use the mouse. Whenever I watch people in, playing classical music in orchestras, I always feel a bit nervous because suddenly they're playing and then they've got to reach over and turn the page. And I, I can't help but think, what happens if they can't get the page right? The whole orchestra falls to pieces. So here we have the system where you're playing away, blah, blah, blah. Or you get to the end, oh, I've got to turn the page. What do you do? You press enter. I'm going to go back a page, press backspace, or in this case, delete. All right, so this is also an ensemble. Now, a solo is just one piece of music for one part. A duet is obviously duo, two. You have two parts. An ensemble, sorry, ensemble is more than two parts. So three, it could be four, five, six, seven. I guess once you get up to like 20, it becomes a symphony. So I'm going to play part one. But there's part two. Part two and part three is basically the piano part. All right, let's, let's give this a shot. Here we go. So here we've got three parts, you see, so I tell it to play the accompaniments. Whoa, it's fast. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here we go.
Nice. That's good. I like that. All right, let's have a look at another piece. Oh, Ming Song. Have a crack at this. Not bad. Same composer, Roberto Schumann. Nice as well. Like a bit of Robert Schumann. All right, let's bring out the big guns. Oh, a lot of people don't realise that Twinkle Twinkle is actually a, a Mozart piano sonata. Mm -mm -mm. I always seem to go to the duets. There we go. Scarborough Fair. I think I can big this up actually, can I? Yeah. Scabra Farage. What is that weird sound? Might be just the instrument. I think the tracker was running ahead a little bit, wasn't it? Do I need that now? There we go. Been to Scarborough, but it wasn't a fair one when I was there. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Mm. Okay. This is one that I, yeah, one that I transcribed a while ago. See, that's why I make it smaller, so you can see it while I'm on the screen. Sometimes I want it to be like that, so it's bigger, but um, I know I'm going to block it. Maybe I shouldn't be so big. I should uh, shrink myself down on the screen maybe a little bit. All right, let's uh, smallify this. Okay, let's see if we can remember how to play this piece. Delightful. Pass out there a bit. Solo Isaac from here. Yeah, I can do it. You know, if you just uh, struggle with a piece, just pause it. Focus, go over that one little phrase a little bit a few times. And yeah, it's done. Bob's your uncle. Right, I think uh, we're going to draw it to a close. Uh, we'll do another live stream soon. And um, I, uh, before I go, I think uh, I need to get in the habit of encouraging you to check out our social media. So the first, the first thing to say is uh, if you are watching us, here, well, we're here on YouTube, then please give us a, f what do you do on YouTube? You, f you follow, subscribe, subscribe. Uh, I get confused between all the platforms we're on that right now. So yeah, please, please give us a subscription. We've got 49 subscribers so far. I mean, it'd be nice to get to a thousand. I don't think we're going to, I don't think we're going to partner with YouTube when you partner with YouTube or with Twitch, I don't know what Facebook does, but when you partner with YouTube or, or Twitch, they block you from live streaming on other platforms. And we just want to be available. We're not doing this for money. It's completely free. The website's completely free. We don't sell anything. We don't charge for anything. So we just want to um, make music available to watch for as many people as possible. And then, you know, when we build a, a, a viewership, we want people to be able to go and play themselves and maybe even start streaming themselves playing. Because there's a lot of people that maybe not ace, ace crack shots at any game, particular game, but they do want to stream and maybe they don't really know what they want to do or talk about. So if they like playing Musitude, why not stream? You know, this is the uh, official Musitude live stream. But it doesn't, you know, there's nothing stopping people who love Musitude to like going on the website or the mobile app even from streaming themselves. We're happy for them to do that. I mean, it's great publicity for us. So, um, yeah, so go on here and uh, give us a subscribe. And also, if you if you click on channels, check out the Music You Players channels where it's just uh, we're demonstrating pieces. Give us a subscribe there as well. And on Facebook, oh, there I am. On, uh, I'll get away from that. Uh, let's see, me, oh, there I am again. 
let's have a go here. Shut that down. Boom. Yeah, if you go to the, the Facebook page, then you can see all the little posts we're doing there. We have got quite a lot of followers. That's why the, the followers kept coming up. 24,803 followers. And um, yeah, give us a give us a follow on, on our Facebook page. And that way, whenever we're live or whenever we post some interesting video or even some article or, or something like that, you'll be able to check in with us and comment there. And we're, of course, we're on Twitch as well. Gosh, there I am. Mm -mm -mm. Twitch a Rooney. Wakey train. All right, so yeah, so we're on Twitch, so you can follow us on. Wait, you don't follow on. Oh, yeah, that's right, you don't subscribe. You subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch. So give us a follow on Twitch. Uh, we've got about 20, 19 or 20 followers so far. And so, yeah, those are our, our free platforms. And then, of course, there's. Uh, Use these buttons. I've got this. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see. Oh, you will be able to see it because I'll be able to. Oh, yeah, the, the down the down camera. I've got this uh, stream deck thing, so I can just push these buttons and they all come up. So yeah, follow us on Twitch. Just twitter.com/musitude, and check out our Instagram. We're gonna get a bit more active on there, so let's have it three followers. So yeah, we're gonna get a bit more active, see what's going on. Hey, we got two new followers in the last week or so, that's cool. So follow us on Instagram, and yeah. And of course, most important of all, do this, boom. Go to the Musitude website, musitude.com. If you go on your phone, it will, give you a message that tells you that we want you to, it wants to redirect you to the mobile app and the reason sorry i'm getting an itchy thing on the chair and the reason for that is because the website although it can load on the phone and sort of work the key the keyboard thing it needs uh it doesn't quite work so it wants to send you to the app and the mobile app is great we've got an android app that's pretty pretty cool and um We've got an iOS app, and we've got a really good iPad app. So you know, there's bigger keys on the iPad. So we're doing a lot with mobile apps, that's cool. And of course, on your computer, you can go to the browser, which which you can see right here. Let me just full biggage it up. So you can go to the browser, and you can um, play yourself. If you're any good at, with a computer keyboard, all you need to do is go to the browser, Click on this, it'll bring up a little demo for you. And then you play play what you see. It's just like typing a document. You saw you I see a letter H, I press H. See K, I press K. K looks a little bit longer, so I press that and hold longer, so. So, and then yeah, then here you can turn sound off if you want to play a piece, but it's a little bit a little bit too fast. You can change the speed of the piece. And you can even change the range so it's higher and lower pitch. You can have it play. For example, if I go to national anthems, let's say, let's pick a national anthem. Great Britain, no. God Save the Queen, it's just a bit boring. I've never heard the Lithuanian National Anthem before. So let's say, I, let's say I don't want to play initially, I just want to hear it. So I just click play, and I can, whoops, I can listen to it. And another thing people do, which I never even thought of when I made Musitude, but I noticed some people doing it is, you can click play to listen to the national anthem, but you can also play along with it. And that way, if you're playing diverges from what's being played, you can hear that. So it's almost like a, a self-testing. One, two, three, four.
See, I made a mistake there. Let me start again. Another thing you can do is you can change. I don't know if you change the instrument, it will play that new instrument. So if I change it to piano, we'll load the instrument. And now, one, two, three, four. I see it'll keep playing. I don't play it, but if I want to join in. I noticed that I did something wrong there. So yeah, just go to the Musician website and have fun playing. Doesn't matter how good or bad you are, if you can type a little bit straight away, you can start playing music. You're literally reading music notation, the Musician notation on the screen and playing. So give it a try. Uh, check out our Facebook, check out our YouTube channel, our Twitter, our Instagram and Twitch. And uh, yeah, keep coming back. I'll keep live streaming and keep uploading other stuff. And eventually we'll, we're going to have more stuff. Like we're going to bring in people with traditional musical instruments and play duets together. And uh, yeah, it's going to be going to be pretty cool. We're going to do some more live transcribing as well. So look out for that. And I'm still trying to come up with a good sign off for Musitude. Too many people, too many people say, peace out. I've got to, I've got to come up with a good one, but I haven't got one yet. So I'm just going to say my usual musitude out. <laughs>